happening today after the break. Okay, uh, an emoji on the chat box regarding how we're feeling today. Then we will begin with announcements. So, thank you, Bethlehem. Great. Great. So, uh, we will start with a number of announcements. Welcome to week six. I hope we got a very long, very restful. I hope we were able to catch up with all the series and the movies that we've been missing out on over the, over the previous weeks. I binge watched The Bachelor, but uh, I'm here now and excited to have a very productive week. So, um, a number of things, and maybe we'll start with your announcement, Arun. Uh, then we'll get into things. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry, people are just joining. Hi, everyone. Hope everyone is good. Um, okay, profiles. Uh, we've started sending out profiles to a small group. The rest of them, we'll get them today. Um, so the profile is very important. It's uh, a lot of stuff that comes together. But the profile is an opportunity to take the interesting stuff that you've been doing here at 10 Academy, the things that you've done before, and to put it together in a comprehensive way to showcase to employers um, what you are able to do in the future. Um, so there'll be two parts to it. One is everyone will be asked to put together a profile site. We will provide a template. You should duplicate that and uh, put together your own profile site, share the link with us, and we will go through and give you detailed feedback. Um, more than likely, it will take a little bit of back and forth to make sure that it's there. Um, and once it is there, and there is something that we are happy with and you are happy with, We'll then put it on our website and uh, start sharing with employers. So first, uh, profiles are going to be shared this week with employers. And as it's written in the document, you will see that um, the employers, the processes can be relatively long. So it can be, in my experience, from three to 12 weeks from first sharing a profile to actually starting work. It can sometimes be really quick and sometimes it can take forever. Um, so have a look at that. Um, very important to get that right. Very important to have uh, open discussions. Everyone's been invited to the profiles group. We exist to get people ready for the world of work, but one step further is we want to get people actually placed into the world of work. And this is our way to go one step beyond the CV. Um, so let's keep the atmosphere super open. Let's ask lots of questions. Let's showcase some of the other work that other people are doing, which is going really well. Um, or profiles that are going, that are happening, or that are being put together in a really nice way. Um, yeah, so that's that's all I have to say. Just to recap for those who join later, profiles, some has been shared with a smaller group. We just wanted to test the system. Everyone else will get their profiles up today, and we want to have everyone's profiles ready, hopefully by the end of this week, and be ready for a lot of interaction and feedback in that process. Um, you can always send me a rocket chat on DM or ask in the profiles group. And I'd really like to see um, engagement here alongside the, um, yeah, I think it's a really fascinating challenge happening this week. So thanks for that. Okay, thank you so much for, for that, Tarun. Uh, the next announcement is that by now, you guys should have received a calendar invite for the group feedback session. The, uh, the group feedback is starting, is going through today and tomorrow. It's, uh, we'll be having one, two, three today from 11 a.m. through to 2 p.m. UTC and uh, the same tomorrow. So why is the group feedback important? It's particularly important because you'll have the opportunity to grade your fellow, to rate your fellow group mates. Okay, so the the grading and the rating will be coming from you and not us. So everyone will have an opportunity, and obviously I'll give more information within the sessions themselves. Everyone will have an opportunity to give feedback about the rest of the group members. And why is this important? The skill of giving and receiving feedback. is absolutely important opportunity. So, uh, Google Sheet, 
where you will have an opportunity to say met expectations, not met expectations, and uh, one sentence uh, could do better or did really well feedback against each person, each of your other group members' names. So we will do that today. So there's that. The other thing is that last week on Friday, we had the privilege of meeting a number of you for one-to-ones. I'd like to especially thank those who showed up for being open, perspective, engaging, and being really willing to take feedback from us on the way forward. We will have a one-to-one -one feedback session with the rest of you later this week, from Wednesday through to Friday. So in the course of the day today, Yati and I will send you a link to book a slot. Each feedback session is approximately 15 minutes each. So you'll be able to book a slot uh, regard on, on times that are the work for you, where we'll be having the one-to-one -one with you. So they start. So every single person, and there are a lot of you, who asked me, when are we having a one-to-one? -one? You will get your one-to-one -one this week, okay? It's very important because we want to know you. We want you to know how to best become work ready as we begin week six moving forward. So that's exciting. Uh, one of the other final updates for the week, um, it skipped my mind, I thought I'd written it down. So uh, why don't we just dig in? And one of the things we want to dig in today, you will have your week challenge uh, announced, launched after this session. And And uh, this week's brilliant people to be able to help them solve. So being able to have a very hands-on experience in solving an industry challenge will look really good on your portfolio and in the profiles that you're going to be developing. So if you do really well, you have another feather in your cup that makes you stand out in the world of work that an employer can look at and say, damn, this is really well done. So that's something that also excites me. So great. So we're going to dig in. And uh, today we are going to start, what we're going to be focusing on in today's stand up is uh, one, how do you feel about your progress so far when it comes to week six going forward? Are there any challenges that you're still facing that we should be aware of? And uh, just how are you in general? So are there, are there any blockers that you're facing so far that we should know and address from week six? Going forward, and uh, if there's anything you feel with uh, CB Tender Harriet. Harriet, after you speak, you're going to pick the next person. Harriet, are you there? Yes, thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, Good morning. Okay. So, basing on the question of the platform, how we feel about the work, how we're progressing. Mm -hmm. I think from the start, it was all about um, what are we going to do? We needed to measure how much we're going to do. But right now, we are having a chance to feel what it is and what is required of us. I personally, I still have to work on putting things up together, especially the ML ops steps. Each of them has to be perfected. And this will not come on a silver plate. I have to put in more effort to perfect all these steps. And with the teamwork we had, it showed a good picture that it is easily possible when you decide to reach out for help and then engage people in what you don't know, the earlier the better, instead of having to brag and wait to have answers from others. It's good to fight. Fight harder, be aggressive, like we were told by Dr. Yabev, then we can be able to have it out. So basically that is my upgrade for this week six beginning. Great, thank you. Pick someone else. Okay, I'll pick Desmond. Desmond. 
Yes, good morning. Can you hear me? Good morning, Desmond. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. And how are you? Very well. Um, well, uh, I fine. can say that so... uh, uh, through the past six weeks, uh, I have learned a lot. Uh, and one thing that I've also learned is perseverance. Uh, despite the fact that you have a lot to learn, but uh, uh, you have to push on each and every time so that you have to submit something. And uh, I can say that is one skill that uh, I have learned and I have gained that uh, persistence in me. Uh, also, uh, I can say that I have learned to take responsibility. Uh, working with a team as well, uh, and just reaching out to any point that you have uh, a blocker, any point that you feel you are uh, stuck, just reaching out so that you can get help. And uh, I can say that that is one thing that I didn't have, and now at least I, ha I have gained that knowledge and skill. Thank you, Desmond. Who goes next? Um, I don't know if um, no. I'll I'll choose Blaze Papa to go next. Okay. Thank you, Blaze. I don't know if Blaze is here. Blaze, are you here? Okay. Are you able to speak? Okay. As Blaze is preparing, we will go with uh, Deborah. Deborah Gabriel Hannes. Yeah. Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Hi. Good morning. Yes. Uh, last week was very challenging and uh, I, I think I learned so much from it just working in groups and like uh, collaborating on github and uh, just dividing up tasks it was a great opportunity and I, I think I, I have learned a lot and it also allows you to step up your game because you know you see what other people are doing so you want to do better you feel inspired by your group mates. So it was a very good week. And I also had some problems in uh, DevOps and MA loops because I have not worked on them before, but just practicing and just getting to know them has been fun. I think it was just on and on a great experience. And uh, yeah, I think I have more work to do, but it was a great experience. Oh, great. Uh, do you have any blockers going forward from week six going ahead? I think as the week passes by, as the weeks pass by, uh, it's getting better. Just learning the whole workflow and how to organize the projects and stuff. I think I'm learning better, but if, if I have questions, there are always people around me that I can ask, so. Great, that's wonderful to hear. Blaze, are you ready now? And thank you, Deborah. Great. And Unmute you yourself. Mm -hmm. Blaze, you're muted, just in case you're talking. Blaze? Okay. I do not know. Uh, but you're muted. So I don't know if it's a muting issue or a microphone issue. <laughs> Okay. Um, as Blaze is figuring that out, who do we want to go next? Ethani, are you here? Ethani Coffee? Ethani? Good 
Good morning, Anthony. Hello. Hi. Hi, Anthony. Blaze, you can go after Anthony. Uh huh. Anthony, go ahead. Okay. Um. For, for me, actually, uh, the I mean, for, for the, for the la, 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 last week. Um, it it it, uh, it, it, uh, it was a little bit cha 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 challenging, but uh, th th thank 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 for 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 my group me members. I uh, I've learned a lot, and actually, for though I was very 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 busy, but um, I mean I I I, 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 I I managed to 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 to, to co co collaborate with, with my group me members. Now and, uh, and I was able to to, uh, to at least uh, co co con contribute. Yeah. So and actually, for what uh, I, I, I have learned, uh, I mean, you, uh, I, 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 I have learned, learned, learned a, a lot. Mm -hmm. And I'm, 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 I'm looking for forward for the for, for the coming weeks, and I'm sure that at that, 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 that the end of the I mean of, 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 of the program, I'll, I'll, I'll I mean uh, I'll, 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 I'll have uh, I'll, I'll, a lot in, in I mean in, in I'll, I'll just in I mean. Uh, in 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 term, in term of, of, of no 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 knowledge I mean I'll be re 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 yeah, actually, I'm 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 looking for forward, and actually, for for, for what I've, I've learned, I mean, uh, and now, now I can I can see. Uh, I mean, I mean the 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 the, 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 the I mean the there is a, a a light ahead. I mean, co co com, 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 compared to the I mean to the previous weeks. I, 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 can, I can see now. I, just, I mean, I just started to, to, to get things on, 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 on track. So I'm looking forward. Yeah. That is really wonderful to hear, and thank you so much for sharing, Nathani. So uh, before Blaze goes on. Uh, I'd like to show, I'd like a show of hands. How many people feel like the break helped them? Just raise your hand. How many people feel like the long week was helpful? But I have, I see Barak, Jabinda, Jermaine, Kate, Desmond, Natnaya. Okay. Great. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I've never seen so many hands raised, guys. So uh, thank you for that. Uh, the other thing I will ask. How many people still feel a bit tired or overwhelmed? Uh, Ethan, you could mute yourself, please. How many people still feel a bit tired or overwhelmed? It's okay to it's okay to be still tired and overwhelmed. Is there anyone who still feels tired and overwhelmed right now? Okay, great, great. This is this is good to this is good to see. So, Blaze, are you ready to go on? Uh, yes, I am. Finally, you good morning, Blaze. Yeah, good morning, Chief. First, apologies. I do have issues with my inbuilt microphone, so I do get a pair of earphones to speak. No problem. Mm -hmm. okay, uh, first of all, uh, I hope everyone is doing okay, and the break was well deserved. At least I got a chance to eat with my friends and maybe spend some time with my family as well. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, nice so they're going. I feel mm-hmm. like if I'm being really honest, I think from book one, I think actually from book zero, it's been a very good learning curve. I feel personally, uh, the mm-hmm. quality of code and the things I'm learning is mm-hmm. something I would that's really preparing me to be like job ready in a way. And also like the small improvements that my friends and same members just tell me to improve on. I feel at this moment I'm very, very happy. I feel like the imposter syndrome is slowly creeping away. I feel like I'm getting there. Uh, as of last week, uh, it was nearly known that my team had some issues, but uh, it was a really good chance working with people and we did f- figure it out. And in the end, we at least submitted something we're really proud of. And it was kudos to those guys because we really had the ups and downs of working in a team and encapsulated in a span of like 10 days. Mm-hmm. As of uh, what else I want to talk about, uh, what are you feeling? I feel really energized. I guess. Uh- Great. Uh, do you have any blockers? Anything that you feel would be a challenge for you to move from where you are right now to coming job ready? I, is the weather one of them? Uh, sorry? So you can I put one as the weather because it's quite cold. Where I am. What did you say? The weather. I think it's quite cold where I am. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay, I guess if, if you're really freezing and assuming you're in Kenya, maybe uh, I don't know the weather can act as it, but I'm not one to say a challenge is not a challenge. Okay, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you for sharing, please. Uh, do, do you want to choose who goes next? Mm-hmm. Uh, probably if David Lucas is around, he can probably share a thing or two. Mukuzi. Who did you choose? Oh, Mukuzi. Mukuzi, yeah. are you here? Uh, yes, yes, I'm ah, here. Great. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Mm-hmm. Uh, good morning. Could you speak a bit louder? I think uh, last week was also interesting for me. Uh, we learned uh, we learned a uh, lot okay. of things. Uh, Working with the group and also mm-hmm. the, the challenge of it so very really interesting. So I'm also feeling mm-hmm. uh, energized this week. I think the, the break was worth it. So I have yeah. more energy to do the test this week. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. And that's it for me. Do you have any blockers, any challenges? Uh, no challenges currently. Okay, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Do you want to choose who goes next? Uh, Kate can go next. Great. Kate Njoki, are you here? Hello, hi. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Um... I, last week was really good. Uh, like I said uh, previously, I, I was in a good group and we were very proactive. And also, mm-hmm. like, because the groups mm-hmm. this time we were a bit more, so it's easier to mm-hmm. delegate some work to different members. And yeah, it was great work uh, collaborating on that project. Um, also, the break was well deserved. I feel like mm-hmm. for, since we started an academy, I've been able to get a good amount of sleep consistently. And it also affects your productivity when you're well rested. So it it, it was really good. Um, for this week's challenge, I haven't yet read it, but I plan on doing that before the session with Yabebal. And yeah, I hope you have a great week ahead. Great. Do you have any blockers at all that you see could be a challenge moving forward for you? Um, blockers, I guess, uh, there are some parts of the of machine learning that I'm not yet good at, like the CML and the yeah the MLOps part is something I'm trying to focus on because it's one of my weak, weaker areas. So that's that's one of my goals going forward to improve on those areas. Okay, thank you for sharing. Okay, 
Do you want to pick who goes next? We can have around three more people going. I just want to jump in really briefly just to make one point. Um, I don't think anyone will ever know everything about ML ops or ML engineering by the end of the training. So it's okay. We need to know enough. We need to get started, but don't feel bad if you don't know everything. Um, if you think that you know everything, it actually means you don't know anything. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'll choose uh, Barakat. Barakat Kibu. Okay. Okay, great. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Barakat. How are you today? Uh, great, I'm feeling fine. Uh, yeah, um, like in the previous weeks, uh, going through this training, uh, it helps me like uh, how I can be disciplined. Like uh, it, uh, one of the great things I learned is having a discipline, like working long hours to deliver what has been asked from you, like mm -hmm. to the point where you come. Mm -hmm. And yeah, uh, in that there is a persistence, like doing things continuously. Mm -hmm. So this is one of the great things that I have learned or get from this training. And I think uh, this uh, process will help in the future too, like when you join the work working environment. And uh, blockers, like, yeah, uh, I, I think I, I don't have a deep uh, understanding on the machine learning part in some some of the parts and yeah as Sarun said if you know anything yeah if you, uh, you don't know anything so yeah I'm eager to know more and uh, to adapt to the working environment okay thank you for sharing uh, Bereket and I'm happy to hear that you're feeling positive moving forward do you want to choose who goes next? Uh, the Lala, if you do. Good. The Lala. Uh, I'm not sure if the Lala is here. Would you like to choose someone else or should I choose? Actually, let me choose this one. It's been a while since I heard from Milky. Milky, are you here? Oh, if the Lala is here, you you go next. But Milky, are you there? Uh, hello, can you hear me? Yes. Good morning. Uh, uh, good morning to you all. Okay. Um. Well, Not about about the last week, um, it was kind of uh, hectic for me. Uh, I I kind of started working on uh, uh, on the modeling part alone, and uh, things were not going well. Um, I, I passed a lot of time working on the modeling part alone, and uh, things were not going well for me. And for the group, much work was uh, needed to be done, so. I had to rush, rush to finish the project, and uh, uh, my time management was bad for the, the last week. So I'm thinking on improving uh, my time management skills again, and to work on well with the team, with with teams, and uh, yeah, build my build my time management and group working skills. That's what uh, I think I missed uh, the last week and I need to work on mm -hmm. for the coming weeks as well. Mm -hmm. So you feel like one of the things that you need to work on is time management and, and team working, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you for that. Thank you for sharing, Milky. Uh, okay. Last but not least, uh -huh. Last but not least, Rachel Wasser. Rachel, are you here? Yeah, I'm here, Cindy. How are Good you? Good morning. Good fine, morning. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. I'm doing well. Uh, I feel more relaxed now this week. <laughs> yeah. 
Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, so tell us, uh, are you, do you have any challenges as we go forward? Forward work in terms of knowledge, where, where do you feel like you are? At? Okay, uh, I think that my connection is not good, but I'm trying to tell you how the week is going and how the week has passed. So for the rest week, or for the last week, uh, that project was very challenging, but I've tried my best. Uh, as the other friends said about email ops, uh, I'm still half a girl, so I want to learn more about it. Yeah, uh, and they need more effort so that I can be at good pace with the others who know it. Who know it. So, uh, and uh, for uh, what I can say is for the coming weeks, uh, I think I'm ready for them. And I think that I'm going to run a lot. And I think that I'm going to use my time very efficiently. When I'm blocked, uh, I'm ready to ask out. And uh, I feel I'm ready to ask anyone because I have that spirit of just knowing what's going on with machine learning so that I can come up with this uh weeks at the end of these weeks uh and i could say that i'm ready for this and i know this so yeah okay okay great i like the attitude so thank you very much for sharing uh rachel and everyone else uh one of the things that i forgot to add is that today we will be having uh today we will be having we will be having a town hall, a guest speaker coming today and tomorrow. Uh, today's speaker is an alum called Samson, and tomorrow's speaker is Phil Clay. He was previously leading uh, MIT for a while, if I'm not wrong. And uh, Phil is really busy preparing for our session tomorrow. So we are really excited for that. So as we slide forward towards uh, week 12, we want to give you all perspectives possible on what you can do to be ready for what awaits you. It's exciting, can be overwhelming sometimes, but I choose to believe it's very much worth it. Additionally, for everyone who sent in the deposit, absolutely thank you, received and very much appreciated. If there's any blocker to sending that deposit, please do not hesitate to reach out to, to me or Arun and just let us know what's going on there. But a huge number of you have been very compliant, so to speak. We all know that this is a very important part of making us sustainable as an organization. And we generally appreciate uh, those of you who, the large majority of you who have been able to, to do that. So, uh, that's it from me, Arun. Is there anything I may have forgotten that you'd like to add before we call it a session? No, nothing else from my side. Just to just to share, um, yeah, the guest talks for us are really important. Um, we will be recording them, but the opportunity to be there in person and just interact, I would. Uh, my advice would be to prioritize that. Um, there's an article that I really love, where um, I'll share it with you guys at one point. But the value of learning technical content, all the guest talks are 3 p.m. UTC, both today and tomorrow, Behigu. 3 p.m. UTC, I don't know how that relates with sunrise time. Um, my math is not good enough to translate to at this time. But the opportunity to ask questions and interact with somebody, um, Samson and Phil are both people uh, who have made contributions in their own way. Samson was from our first batch very early in his journey, and Phil Clay led MIT the one and only MIT for eight years. Um, and so they're both willing to give their time to speak to us. And so I would really like to see everyone there um, because if they can make time out of their schedules, we can surely make time and just interact and ask questions. So that's the last announcement from my side. Thank you. And I'll just add this something that's small but very important. It's very embarrassing for us to bring guest speakers and they're coming into an empty room, then everyone is coming in you know, data. It does not look good enough. On so if you could just be a bit, take a bit more initiative to arrive in the room a couple of minutes early, that, that, that will be good, okay? Please.
no embarrassing us yeah so uh good so uh thank you guys uh thank you very much i do not think 3 p.m it is it, is it 12 p.m ethiopian time i thought it is 6 p.m ethiopian time but because it's 6 p.m kenyan time so uh anyway there's that you guys uh take care and we will see you on rocket chart and all the other places confirm that time that you've posted behigu because i really think it's 6 p.m ethiopian time but anyway everyone take care and uh there's, there's a whole another time there's it's there's sunset sunrise oh. time ethiopian time is oh. next level we need it we need a tutorial um, on that i need a tutorial on that one then <laughs> everyone have a wonderful day then and uh i'll see you guys on the other side <laughs>